Hello, it is your friendly neighborhood reseller in his messy warehouse. Those boxes there, those are from shipments coming in their returns. Boo! But this video is about how to use a JFJ Easy Pro to professionally, or at least it seems like it, refinish discs. I'm gonna show you what I do and how it differs from other people and how that's gonna help you make some more money. Let's go. This is the JFJ Easy Pro plus plus it's got three buttons that before you run down to the comments to correct me yes it has four buttons not three designate the time that this foam disc is going to spin on that is the on off switch that's the foam disc that spins when you press those buttons that's the nut thing that you screw on to here with the disc in between so it doesn't move around and you're going to notice how messy it is I don't care about that. All I care about is that the threading on here is unobstructed, so it goes on tight. Now that you know how the machine works and are familiarized with the basic components and concepts, let's do a few discs and I'll explain what I'm doing as you watch. These are the things you're going to need in addition to your JFJ Easy Pro and the foam pad. This bad boy is a sandpaper pad. It takes away the big scratches. This is your anti static spray cleaner it's just distilled water i have tasted it it doesn't taste like poison you can just use water this is solution two they also sell solution one as far as i can tell they work essentially the same uh it's car polish you can just buy car polish i don't know which one because i buy mine off amazon and i buy these but if you want to save four or five bucks do some testing yourself but all it is is a, a gritty solution kind of like watered down toothpaste here is the disc i want to refinish spyro end of the dragonfly on ps2 we're not going to use this uh sandpaper pad because the scratch is on back while uh bad are not so deep that the foam won't take them out so we're just going to spritz a little bit of that water on there put a little bit of this in the pad and uh run it for a minute See how it looks. One of the things I do differently is I put a piece of toilet paper on the bolt where the fastener goes on to hold the disc in place. This ensures that the plastic nut I'm screwing on does not touch the interior plastic ring of the disc that while wouldn't affect functionality gives it a more professional look when there's no scratching on the interior ring uh, that you otherwise would be seeing. Now we're going to spray the distilled water onto the disc. We're going to put compound 2 onto the foam disc. And uh, that's way too much. Only use about a dime's worth. Close the lid so it's touching. And press the buttons. Press them to your heart's content. Oh no, it won't turn on. Well, it's not plugged in. Now the machine is turned on. Off on, just so you can see it. I'll press a button now so you can see it. That's the one minute button I want to use. It should finish the disc entirely. Initially, it shakes a little bit. That's fine. The machine is just reaching equilibrium. It's evening out. It doesn't shake for more than four or five seconds. Is that ideal? No, probably not, but who cares? Okay, it has been sync for a minute. Let's check the results. Yeah, as you can see, the disc is very shiny. There's no more gashes, no more small scratches even. After a minute with compound two on the foam pad, this disc is not only playable, but it looks to be in pristine condition. This right here is what I wanna show you. Without the toilet paper in there over the nut, that'd be all scratched up. But because we used a little bit of boundary, it's totally fine and looks great. There you have it folks, the JFJ Easy Pro, easy for you. One more quick tip, if you're trying to refinish PlayStation Original Black Disc games, those will take longer. The plastic is much more sturdy and hard and rigid. Everything else, if you do it for more than two minutes without a you know five minute break, the disc will get too hot and the same way a plastic comb under a hot air gun will lose its form, these discs will turn into warped frisbees that cannot be played by anyone or any thing. Thanks again, guys. I make DIY income videos, weird fun ways to make money where you don't have a boss. I'll see you guys later.